Hey guys, so uh, let's see uh, what you can do in the um, graphic settings for Overwatch to obtain the, the best performance. So you go to options and uh, here you can do some tweaks. On display mode uh, you should have it on full screen. Uh, set the default resolution for your monitor. Field of view leave it to maximum. Here display performance that I have it on just because I'm making the video but you should have it off. Uh, limit uh, FPS. Uh, I've noticed that uh, if I let it to 30 FPS uh, I won't have any mouse lag uh, whatsoever but if I set it to off I'll have some, uh, some mouse lag and the game will feel weird. Then we go to graphics uh, quality it doesn't matter what you have here you can just leave it off to low uh, and then we expand the menu and let's see what we have here uh, for render scale uh, this is the most important setting uh, the graphic setting and um, by default uh, I had it on 75 but uh, after playing a while the game uh, just set it uh, to 77 if you have it to 100% for example the game will just uh, render the, the graphics to the original uh, resolution of your monitor and it will just look uh, much better, much sharper but uh, this will also consume a lot of resources and just because of that if you get lag or uh, low FPS just set it uh, lower to 75 the game still looks uh, quite good. Texture quality set it to high, it doesn't matter um, if your uh, render scale is uh, around 75, you can set it to high, uh, texture quality. Then texture uh, set it to low, have local folk detail low, dynamic reflection and shadow detail to off. These are uh, consuming quite a lot of resources. Model detail to high doesn't matter that much, uh, just uh, depend how your uh, hero will uh, look. The textures, it's quite nice to see the some nice uh, textures for your hero. Let's go back. Uh, lightning quality low and, and Tilia's uh, quality. Uh, I don't have it off, it's just low to FXAA, uh, refraction quality low, uh, screenshot quality doesn't matter, and uh, local reflections and ambient occlusion to off, they don't matter that much. Ok, so uh, you see here which uh, graphic card I had, it's a uh, Radeon HD 5670. Uh, uh, it has one gigabyte of uh, DDR5, I think, yeah. And uh, yeah, with these uh, settings, the game just uh, works uh, perfect. I don't get any lag whatsoever. And this uh, matters the most in the game. If you don't uh, run the game uh, perfectly smooth, it will just. Um, uh, you won't be able to enjoy it. So let's see an actual um, game. I have these uh, glitches like if I go forward it will uh, move me a bit back because uh, the connection it doesn't have to do with the performance. It's just uh, the first day of open beta and I guess um, the servers are just uh, in full heat of blizzard. So let's see uh, a quick play. Yeah, so overall the game uh, is uh, quite right optimized. I guess Blizzard will uh, just uh, work. Now arriving at Elias. As the time goes and uh, they will just improve the 
the graphics and the performance. Prepare to attack. So yeah, if you select a hero and you click on uh, select or continue and it doesn't select, uh, it also doesn't have anything to do with uh, performance, it's just because the, the server lag. A moment to enjoy some peace and quiet. Probably just a moment. Over the past week, Talon activity has been increased. Mm. Wicked! Five. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Two. One. Round one. Capture the objective. Together we will not fail. Doesn't look that bad. That bad. Uh... Now hold on. Also, uh, according to the video, and uh, this also consuming some uh, resources. So yeah, if you. You just want to make the game playable. Uh, set the the graphics that I have. If you have um, a worse uh, hardware, set the to be low and the hope one. that uh, can run uh, and be playable. Uh, other details. Uh, this is on a i3 Intel processor. 8 GB RAM, as I said, uh, Radeon HD uh, 5670K uh, uh, DDR5, and uh, it's the game is installed on a uh, normal hard disk, it's not on an SSD. Alright, cheers and uh, good luck in uh, Overwatch. <laughs>